It's so beautiful and peaceful right now, and I'm just enjoying that moment. And so I decided to record this video and share this moment because what great energy is going on here. And so I felt like it was a crucial moment for me to share what's on my mind. I'm trying to see if this view is okay. Should I do this or should I do this or... No, I should do this. Yes. Yes. That is it. The natural lighting. And yet, it's dark in here. Because it's raining outside. I have my candles lit. Did you guys miss me? Cause I missed you. Today we're gonna keep it simple. We usually do keep it simple. Trying to figure out how to make the lighting more soothing. Time for something different, right? All right, let's have it. So in today's video, I have two techniques that are gonna help us to feel better now or feel better sooner than later. So every year when I was younger, I always had a stomach flu or a stomach virus, right? A stomach bug, whichever one you wanna call it. Uh, I kinda expected to always have it at some point, right? And so, now looking back, what I noticed was that any time that I have had this stomach bug happen and I was going through the motions, because there was really nothing to do but to ride it out, my stomach would go through periods of agitation and then calmness and then agitation and then calmness again. And so what I started what I realize now that I always used to do is to breathe deeply. Nice deep breaths and good exhalations. I notice that I always breathe. I notice, does that sound good? I notice that I always breathe. Okay, I noticed that taking deep breaths was always something that helped me. At the time, I didn't think nothing much of it. I just knew to breathe and to breathe deeply for it to help me to overcome the moments of agitation. And so that was the technique. Sorry, 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 sorry. So that is the technique that I use to help me to cope with those moments of agitation. During my moments of labor pains, right before I gave birth. Um, and this is what they teach you too, for those of you out there who have had children and or are about to bear children. What they teach you usually before you give birth is um, are certain breathing techniques. And so you know the I don't know if that's exactly the way that it went or the exactly the way that it worked for me but that's something that they teach you before you give birth so that while you're in labor and you're having those contractions those moments of agitation you got to breathe there's a way to breathe to help to soothe the agitation at that time or during that moment all right, so by now you know it's not a huge secret what I'm talking about. I'm talking about breathing. Breathing will seriously help us to feel better, usually immediately, during moments of agitation and during moments of nervousness, anxious moments, moments of anger, breathing 
will help us to get through those moments. Sometimes when my son gets upset and he's frustrated and he gets a little angry, we usually recommend that he relaxes and he takes some deep breaths to help him to calm down. And anytime that I'm nervous and I notice that my heart rate has picked up and I'm like breathing like heavy and I'm just, and it's because of the fear and the nervousness, I have to watch the way I'm breathing and take deeper breaths to help slow my heart rate down so it's not beating so fast and I don't feel so nervous. It's not the breathing that we do regularly and unconsciously. This is conscious breathing. Choosing to take the time to use breath to help you during moments of agitation. So that was number one, breathing. Intentional breathing. So now number two is gratitude. Yes, gratitude. Gratitude will help us to feel better now. Why would I say that? I would say that it does and it usually helps me too because when you're when you're not feeling so great, a way to like take your thoughts away from not feeling so great is by focusing more attention on what it is that you are grateful for. And so I find that it helps me that like when I'm imagining something that's more than likely not even true in my head like oh how horrible of a job i did today as far as getting what i wanted to do done i have to refocus my thoughts and to focus my thoughts on what i am grateful for what things during the day did i get done that helped to move me forward i went to the gym i worked out for my 30 minutes that's amazing. That's something to be grateful for. I actually got up and I did it. So I have to give myself credit for that. Did I have any quality time with my kids today? That accounts for something. So I have, I have to shift my thoughts towards those moments in which I did have things to be grateful that happened throughout the day and or even not just the day and just in my life in general. I'm so grateful for the fact that <laughs> my hair is growing back super fast. I am grateful for how my eyes came out today when I did my makeup. You guys like? And so there are many opportunities that we have during our day to get grateful to find the things that we're grateful for to be grateful for those things and our focus on those things will help us to feel better sooner rather than later and thinking of things to be grateful for but it also allows the opportunity for more things to be grateful for to appear in your life because you're gonna start noticing them a lot more. So if you practice doing this to help you to feel better, you're gonna be more conscious of things that you are doing right and constantly reminding yourself that you are doing okay as opposed to feeling like you're not good enough. Or We all deserve to feel better sooner rather than later. We all deserve to know techniques that we can use to help us to feel better. I'm not sure why I'm doing this, but Wakanda for life. Thank you guys for sharing this moment with me. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I look forward to seeing my messages from you. Excuse me. Hello. Hey. What happened? You didn't, you didn't give me no text message back or nothing? No, there was nothing. Like no, there was nothing. I was just busy. I went to Poppy's house and I was just going back and I was doing... I was just busy. 
But anyway. All right, well, say hi to everybody on YouTube because I'm in the middle of a video right now. Oh, do your video, do your video, my bad. Say hi. On YouTube. Huh? I said, what's up people on YouTube? All right, cool, they're gonna hear that too, so you better make sure you watch this video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you're gonna watch this video and see this whole conversation. No, it's not gonna be the whole conversation. Okay, okay, enjoy your video, okay? All right, bye. That was my brother. All right, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you next time. Much love.